In the following lesson, I want to start talking about Photoshop CC keyboard shortcuts. Now, I want to, to re start remembering a few of the simple shortcuts right away from the beginning, just to make your Photoshop life also a bit easier. And also have a look in the bonus package here in your whole pro tutorial is again under the bonus section are some PDFs included with all the keyboard shortcuts from Photoshop CC. And don't be too worried, Photoshop CS6, 5 and 4 pretty much have the same shortcuts as well. They might have changed just a little bit, but most of them are pretty much the same still. So yeah, let's head right away here into our first sheet here, which is just again the basic sheet. There are four actually, if we go over here to the side, you guys can see there are a few more. So maybe if you're interested, open this and try reading through a few just to have a better understanding of the keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. But for the start now, I'm not asking you to rememberize everything. It's just way too much. And to be honest, I also don't know all of them out of my head. I sometimes go and open the PDF to have a look. But the beginner ones and the basic ones, I all do know them. And I would ask you to pretty much do the same. Practice and learn only the beginner keyboard shortcuts. So right away, I want to show you all everything that I've made red here, I would say is a good um, start to learn the keyboard shortcuts. So basically decrease brush size and increase brush size. So opening and closing bracket here on the keyboard. Again, very, very handy to know these if you don't have a Wacom Intuos 5 Pro tablet or if you're struggling here to hold command and alt together, then these are your friends. Again, if you're working in the brush or the pen tool. Then also next, brush, pencil or color replacement tool. So basically selecting B on the keyboard in order to get to the brush tool. Very important, you'll need this quite a lot. Then a crop, just with C there to crop your canvas cells. Then like we also discussed in the course, default foreground and background colors with D again to change those back, especially if you're working with a lot of masks and layers. Then the eraser tool, very simple. If you're working on a single layer, eraser tool also comes in handy. Gradient tool, also to be found again in the toolbar, but if you want to work quicker, remember it's G. Hand tool, again, because you want to move around a lot. Also H over here. Then eyedropper and I, again, E also. Then um, clone tool, content aware, red eye, all of that. Healing brush, very important, is also J again. Also very um, good to know that shortcut. Then let's head over a little bit more. Pen tool, very essential to know that P is for the pen tool. Rotate view tool, we actually did not discuss this tool, but it's actually very simple. If you hit R on the keyboard, it will just rotate the whole canvas in any direction you want. But you can also find this again under edit, transform, and then transform it over there. But knowing this tool might be handy. Then clone stamp tool and pattern stamp tool, also S. Pretty, pretty good tool to know. And yeah, we showed this also in the course. Then type tool, very important if you're a graphic designer or even as a retoucher if you want to put text on your images. Again, T for the text tool, the type tool here. Then move tool, like I said, always move tool to know that one is very essential to moving your layers around and stuff in your layers. You will need this all the time. Then switching foreground colors back to the normal state, especially if you change them for gradients or you worked with this on brushes, then hit X on the keyboard very essential again. And remember, all of these keyboard shortcuts are obviously been used in Windows and Macintosh, so both work on the same way. It's just again for Mac, it's Command, and for Windows, Control. I'll repeat this at the end. Zoom tool, again, Z as well. Very, very important if you're not sure how to work with a navigator or you're confused, work with Z. Or if you're not confused with the Z tool and can't remember this, then work with a the navigator. Then hand tool, especially if your application bar is switched on, you want to move quickly on your canvas, make it small and big, move it around. The hand tool is your friend with spacebar. So again, use that one. Then I haven't lined anything else. The rest that I still did here is again to exit Photoshop, Command and Q together to exit Photoshop quickly. And don't worry, it will always ask you to save before. It won't just close down. Then again, Command and S, very important here. Also, if you want to save your files. In the next lesson, I'll also show you, or actually the last lessons of the course, we'll also go a little bit more into how to save actually stuff on Photoshop. Then again, under edit section, to copy and paste. So first of all, command and C, and at the bottom here, command and V. So copy, paste. Again, both of these very essential keyboard shortcuts to know. And then free transform also, command T, 
one that I use almost every day. So again, Command T, also a very good one. Then yeah, so far, these are just the keyboard shortcuts that I'm asking you to study a bit, to understand and to learn so that you can work quicker in Photoshop. And also have a look at the PDFs files. So go over and select PDF number one, two or three and read a bit through what is what and what gives you more options with keyboard shortcuts. Very, very essential to know. But like I said, also, I do not know all of these. I rememberize basically the basic ones and a few advanced ones. But yeah, that's basically for this lesson. Let's head over now again back to Photoshop to some menu tools.